she goes from you know, being this very sweet, naive young girl and then she's quite lost and confused and she's in love and she's heartbroken and, and then she smart and wise and then she becomes much wiser and it's just really run the whole gamut. Okay, in this article they said how Emma's pelvis is a contrast to Harriet's cardinal cloak. They weren't in, in the city anymore. And the more Harriet hangs out with Emma, the less she wears them. And Emma said the police is something new. I think it came up in like 1810. And then the cardinal cloaks have been around for a long time. Some viewers thought that the red coats made reference to the handmaid's tale. But the red coats were earlier than when the book was written. And Margaret Atwood the author said everything she incorporated into the books existed in real life, so she probably took reference from those red capes. Autumn the Wild was inspired by those watercolors by Diana Sterling. This is such a clever scene. Harriet just visited Emma for the first time and we see how she tries to copy everything Emma does. Topic is farmery as well. When I went away, Mrs. Martin was so very kind as to send Mrs. Goddard a beautiful goose. The finest goose Mrs. Goddard had ever seen, she said. She knows well, but Emma doesn't really seem that interested, but she talks about things that, that would normally lead to excitement in Harriet's entourage, because it's not normal to like have a big goose. But for Emma, it's, it is something so normal, because she lives in plenty. Emma's seemingly disinterest. It's not actual disinterest. It just shows us what type of games she is playing as well. And also kind of shows us how very much a child she still is. But as I said, she's not disinterested in what Harriet has to say. It's just not something she would want to talk about. So she feigns disinterest, but she actually does pay attention. And we see that when she brings the goose to Mr. Martin. And underneath, you see the goodness and you see the... The greatness of that character. In the duration of the film she adapts more and more to Emma's style, gets more feminine and more elegant with her sheer dresses but she also has to adapt now that she's more in the high society of Highbury. Emma and Harriet almost dress the same. Also the headband she wears when Emma draws her is worn again at the ball. The shape of the two evening ball dresses is the same style is so different from what Harriet sees and wears in the school. It's more carefree. It's such a different atmosphere. It's less structured by rules of the society, it seems. And I really like the difference we see between the girls and Emma. Like Emma dressed in those fuller colors and the girls wearing rather plain ones. This difference is underlined again at the fabric shop. Is your house, which do you prefer? They are practically identical. It's a tough call. They're so different. Mm. <laughs> Both of those belts look exactly the same. Of course, if the dark gets dirty, it will not show. But the light... The dark, then. The light is a good deal prettier. Darker colors are more resistant to washing. You could wash them several times without them fading. Stains weren't as visible because the fabric is darker. And that's probably why Harriet is thinking on buying the darker one, because she cannot afford to go and just buy new ones whenever she wants to. Emma doesn't have this problem because she can just buy new clothes whenever she wants and she doesn't have to rewear her clothes if she doesn't want to. And I think Harriet's coat might be based on this template here. The second time they are at the Ford's fabric shop, we see Emma wearing a different coat and Harriet still wearing the same one, which underlines that like Emma really does have the money to get a new coat for a, um, a new visit to the shop. And Harriet doesn't. She wears the same one again the same brown coat just with a different hat on this take here i don't know if this was on purpose but harriet has like three stains on her dress some youtubers and authors i read texts on said that emma most likely gave some of her dresses to harriet and then here i can't just i cannot think i cannot it cannot be 
that Emma gave like a dirty dress to Harriet. Like either Harriet was just being really clumsy or the people at the film just didn't realize that there were stains on or they didn't realize during the editing process. In Emma's part I was saying how Emma wearing the yellow coat indicates that she belongs to Mr. Knightley. And then in the film we also have Emma and Harriet walking together. Mr. Knightley wearing his yellow coat and Mr. Martin wearing a darker one. I don't know if they drew parallelism Emma here. Emma and Mr. Knightley belong together and Harriet and Mr. Martin. If this was the case then I find this really well done and cute. I read in an interview with the costume designer that they based their research on a lot of templates of the time, but also on caricatures. And I think this one could have been one for like the end scene of Harriet and Mr. Martin, where the caricaturist at the time, like they just saw the women fashion, and I'm pretty sure it were mostly men who did those caricatures, so they just saw it and they overdid it, and they took that back into the film, like the bonnets that they wore this big and did you wouldn't see the man anymore and it's it's just funny because she's wearing a white dress and Mr. Martin is wearing a greyish jacket and I think the same type of um, pants so yeah it's like really a recreation of the caricature 